We're going to look at another special, um, we're going to look at some more identities. Now the ones that I want to speak about here are generally ones that the question will read simplify without using a calculator. So the first example that I have is cos squared 45 divided by sine 30, sine of 30, multiplied by cos of 0 degrees, uh, divided by tan of 60 degrees. Okay. So, unfortunately, I haven't started this question color coding it, so you guys are just going to have to work with me. Okay, so remember these are special angles, and I'm not going to make reference to the triangle right away. Um, for you not supposed to use a calculator, often students in the examinations do use a calculator, um, and there's no real way that a teacher would know that you are. But remember, it's to your disadvantage if you have to write an examination, which you're not supposed to use a calculator at all. Okay, so I'm going to go over this. Um, if you've gone through the critical exam revision exercise, you'll see the special triangles in there, and you'll see how we construct them and how we set them up. So cos of 45 is a special angle, and this is actually cos squared 45. And remember I've said something. I said cos squared 45 degrees is exactly the same as saying cos of 45 degrees all squared. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to evaluate what cos 45 degrees is and then square that answer. So let's take the first one. Cos of 45 is actually just root 2 over 2, and I'm going to square that. That's my numerator. Divided by sine of 30. Sine of 30 is actually a half. And then it's multiplied by cos of 0. Cos of 0 is a special angle according to the cos graph, which looks like that. Cos of 0 is equal to 1. So I'm going to put that in as 1. And divided by tan of 60. Tan of 60 degrees is going to be root 3. You can do them on the calculator for now until you've memorized what each of these special angles are. Okay, so let's simplify that further. Root 2 squared, which is the numerator, is just going to be 2, divided by 2 squared, which is going to be 4, and that's 2 over 4, divided by a half, and you should be able to tell me here 2 over 4 is exactly the same as saying 1 over 2, right? Um, which I'm going to write there and simplify it. 2 goes in there once, and 2 goes in there twice, so that's a half divided by a half. And 1 over root 3, this is a half divided by a half, which is just 1, multiplied by 1 over root 3. And that's exactly the same as saying 1 over root 3, which is equivalent to root 3 over 3, right, if you want to rationalize the denominator. Okay, so there's a simple question. A question like this could be worth 4, even 5 marks, depending whether you're grade 11 or grade 12. Good luck.